Okay, here we're with uh, Councilman Elect at Large, yes. Ed Lewis. Uh, now you sat in the uh, Councilman Elect's chair tonight, or going to you know future Councilman uh, from uh, at the Large uh, perspective. Um, how did it look from there tonight? It was a little crowded. I'm used to a little bit more room behind me, but I think I'll get used to it. It'll be yeah. all right. Okay, but it is going to be a little different perspective uh, representing Ward 6, what, for four years? Four years as Ward 6, and, and that was really what I was hoping to do as, as I matured a little bit on council. I started to notice that I had a, a larger scope, and I, I felt like I was representing the 6th Ward well, but I really wanted to focus on the citywide um, issues such as the, the financial picture of the community development, and the at-large seat was a better fit for that. Well, some people I've talked to, uh, political observers, say, well, this is uh, kind of uh, uh, in preparation to uh, uh, buy for the mayoralty of uh, Maslin um, maybe next time around. Is that you never know. Four years ago, I wasn't on council and I only had two children. So <laughs> a lot of things can happen in four years. Okay. Now, uh, you hope to remain as finance chair? That's what I'm aiming for. I really enjoyed doing it the past two years. We're making some changes with the support of the other council people. Um, so I think we can uh, continue to move that path. Now, if I understood correctly, you hope to get a budget passed, what, by December 20, 21st? Did I hear that correctly? Yes, we have a working one now. I, I hope to have it passed December 21st to start the new year with. At the very minimum, we'll do a temporary budget to get us through the first quarter if there are still adjustments that need to be made. Okay. Well, looking forward, uh, you have to really be focusing on the income tax uh, levy that's coming up in March of 2016 because uh, Maslin's ability to uh, expand services, because I think everybody agrees that you're just pretty much at a minimum in the city of Maslin on city service staffing. Is that correct? Yeah, we are at our minimum levels. Um, I, I do applaud our, our forces out there, our safety forces, and the other employees in the city. They've done a lot with very little. Um, and I'm interested to see what this uh, committee that's working on the campaign has to present to us on council in the next couple of weeks. Now, is uh, uh, council uh, a person, Skaza, is she heading that up? or No, she's not heading it up. So far, she's just attended the meetings to act as a liaison behind, between council I and see. this committee. Um, but there is a chairperson or co-chairs, I believe, that are involved with it. Now, of course, you're uh, aware of the ins and outs of the relationship between Maslin City Council and the um, a mayor's office uh, had its ups and downs, ins and out. Uh, do you can uh, think that's going to be the case going forward, or is it going to be a change with uh, three new council persons that uh, are going to be coming on council? How do you, how do you see that, Councilman Lewis? Well, I think moving forward, that council is willing to work with the administration. We always have been, um, but there has been uh, points of contention throughout the past few years. Hopefully we've all uh, gotten beyond that and we can start acting professionally and, and move forward, but that takes uh, both sides to act that way, but council's ready to receive it if uh, everybody else is willing to play along. Okay, well thank you, uh, council person at large elect, yes. uh, Ed Lewis. Uh, he'll be taking uh, over that position come January 1, 2016. Thank you.